My name is Chagai Egmont Sneer. I'm a resident of Mevaseret Zion. I'm one of the 30 residents who appealed to the Supreme Court together with our partners from Bet Zurich against the root of the separation fence, which is right now behind us. The result of this appeal was that we succeeded to convince the Supreme Court and later on the government of Israel that our case is correct. And because of that, the route of the separation fence was changed later on and it is now much more humane and much more according to human rights. At some point, we needed support from the New Israel Fund. We called the New Israel Fund after 24 hours, we got all the support we needed. And we know that without this support, our case in court wouldn't have won this way. My name is Dusay Nadabit. I was born in Ramle. I manage Shatil, uh, Shatil Smith Cities project. And uh, the purpose of the project is to raise awareness among the Arab society in the mixed cities for their uh, basic human rights for housing and infrastructure. And there are five mixed cities in Israel. We are talking about uh, Ramle, Lud, uh, Jaffa, Haifa and Akko. I think this road of Lud telling us all the story about uh, the separation between the two neighborhoods. On the right side, it is a new neighborhood. On the other side of the road, yeah, you can see the condition of the Arab neighborhoods. We are trying to mobilize the Arab society in the mixed cities to be a part of the struggle and to take uh, the responsibility and to be a part of the civil society. My name is Rabbi Gilad Kariv. For the last three years, I serve the Israeli Religious Action Center of the Reform Movement as the Public Policy and Social Action Coordinator. Here in the Knesset, we are trying to convince the members of the Knesset that racism is a shameful phenomena that should not exist in the state of Israel. We advocate for new legislation, we advocate for new governmental acts in the area of fighting against racism. My name is Momo Mahadav. I'm the director of the Tel Aviv Center for Environmental Action. Just recently, we have managed to succeed in approving the Ayalon Park plan turning the Khiria landfill right behind us into a huge metropolitan park for the welfare of Israel's residents. It's a huge victory getting the surrounding community to work for the park, to rally support for the park, and say that for years we had had the Khiria landfill in our backyard, now we deserve a park. We'll continue to work for environmental justice in Israel, creating Israel a great place to live in.